Hi there. I uh, couldn't wait to uh, do an unboxing. I got into this Amazon packaging that I got. I had ordered this uh, April 24th, 2021, and it took till today, which is May the 11th, to arrive here through um, no fault of anyone's. Um, <clears throat> so what I have here is the Artify uh, 108, oops, sorry, 108 um, markers. These are the uh, uh, brush tip and chisel tip ends and it's quite heavy with all of them in it and uh it opens up <clears throat> like that and the lid swings back and uh <clears throat> i already did the swatching of it which a lot of people have already done the swatching of it so i didn't want to put you through that uh, torture i was just too excited to to get into them um, <clears throat> excuse me, but what I did do is, is I, uh, did it on, I copied it onto my paper that I usually use and, um, I, uh, swatched them out and, and the one thing with the Artify is they don't have names, just numbers. So, I mean, I guess I could compare them to the Touch 5 or the, um, um, uh, Copic. Uh, the Spectrum Noir do not have color uh, names on them, so that's maybe more likely what these are like. But I haven't checked to see uh, which coloring um, sort of profile they, they follow. But uh, some people were complaining that they said that there were too many grays. But as you see on the bottom row, it's more of a almost a navy is what I think it, it is, which is kind of nice, which I don't have in any other colors. Greens, there's quite a few. So that's great for grass and leaves and all that. Some purples, a few blues. Maybe I could have done with a few more blues. But um, then there's also the uh, lighter tone skin tones. Um, I also purchased the 36 skin tone color set that they have as well. I think it's 36. Anyways, um, the only comment I have so far, I really enjoyed uh, doing this watching. We'll see how it goes with the projects I, I begin. But um, some of the very light colors, they weren't as juicy as the dark colored ones. The other issue is, is with the dark ones, be sure not to open them over your project because they do, uh, they can spatter, they spatter on my hand and on uh, a couple of blotches on the page. But uh, being that it's a swatch sheet, it's not so big of a deal. But anyways, I'm very excited here in Canada, the, including all the taxes and that, they cost me $74 and I think it was 98 cents. So I thought those were a heck of a lot uh, less expensive than, say, uh, refills even for my Copics that I'm running low on or any of the other markers that I currently have. So I just hope uh, you uh, take a look at them and uh, give them an opportunity to give them a try and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.